One variable star that you can see this month is V. Hydrae in the constellation of Hydra the Sea Serpent. Though often bright enough to be seen in a dark sky, it is more easily found with binoculars. Find it about five degrees south of the bright star New Hydrae, and you'll be able to see its deep cherry red color. It's been known by many because of this stunning red color, even before S.C. Chandler of Harvard University announced its variability in 1888. Why is this star so amazingly red? Well, V. Hydrae is a relatively cool red giant and it's a member of a rare class of carbon stars. Carbon stars just have a relatively high concentration of carbon in the star's atmosphere. This excess of carbon is the reason for its deep red color. As a semi-regular variable star, V. Hydrae pulsates, with its brightness changing by a factor of 11 over roughly 500 days or so. This change in brightness is superimposed on a longer period of 18 years, where the brightness may drop even further. This is probably due to a surrounding disk of material obscuring the star's light. And there's more to V. Hydrae. Though not visible to our eyes, astronomers have observed high-speed material jets flowing out of the star. Dubbed bullets, these plasma ejections occur every eight and a half years and are thought to be caused by the close approach of a dim companion star. To help you explore V. Hydrae, the constellation Hydra the Sea Serpent, and the rest of the night sky, try using a star chart or an app on your phone or you can use our special handout. This Variable Star episode is brought to you by Ball State University, the International Planetarium Society, and the American Association of Variable Star Observers, an international consortium of amateur and professional astronomers. For more information on variable stars and how to observe them, visit their website at aavso.org.